everybody. Today we are taking a look at something pretty spooky, but also pretty unique. Also, I love I love that symbol. That that's such an incredible. All these animations are incredible. Um, but we are taking a look at a free game, actually. Technically, 25 free games. I don't know if we'll get through them all. I am blown away by this menu. This thing looks rad. Um, but this is the Haunted PS1 demo disc. Um, they've done a couple of these uh, for the last year or so. And this is the 2021 edition. It just came out today, March 25th. And it features games from 25 different developers. And I did not play the previous versions of this, though I do know... Oh, God. Where did our homie go? So I, I, I booted this up just to check it out, and it essentially opens on, like, a first-person version of Silent Hill 1, which was really cool. And then we walk into this museum. We're greeted by this purple skeleton man, and he tells us that uh, we cannot leave, but admission is free. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Uh, but I, you know, I, I, I wish I could show you the purest version of this, but I did want to check out a few things just so I could figure out how this worked, make sure it's something I actually wanted to record, because I don't record videos uh, ever, as you know. And I, you know, I wanted to make sure that if I was going to do it, I knew I wasn't wasting my time. I played a couple of games already, and honestly, they're probably two games that I don't necessarily feel like I need to show again. Uh, Risu, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's like Japanese schoolgirl running through an abandoned school. Very Silent Hill reminiscent. And then I checked out this game, Tori 3D, which I think I'm going to do a video on uh, another time. It is like a neat uh, 3D platformer, like N64, PS1 era 3D platformer. That They added some spooky stuff too for this demo. I don't know if the actual game is spooky. But anyway, we have 25 games here, and I don't know if we're going to get through them all. But I would like to get through as many of them as we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with Lorne's Lure, a fishing game. So this is not the game yet. This is still the single executable you download, and you basically have a small piece of the museum that becomes uh, part of the game, which I think is a really cool idea. And makes it... It's just such a rad, awesome thing that creates this sense of... Oh, God. Are, have we done it? Are we Are we there? It's not going to be perfect, unfortunately. You know, these. this is... The game is launching d different EXEs that are being launched onto a different monitor, um, which is fine. Not a big deal. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. So this is Lorne's Lure. A... I don't, I don't know anything about any of these games. Except for the idea that they are all basically games that could show up on a haunted PS1 demo disc you get from a magazine. Lost for 253 years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, got like first per- Ooh, wow, okay. First person adventure. Whoa. We are going on narrow corners here. Hold left control to slow down. Like my body or the world? Oh, it gets like a crouch. H to toggle waypoint hints. After reaching one. Uh, okay. So basically like, hey, are you having a hard time telling where to go in this big game? Uh, that's a, I like that. That is a good idea for accessibility. Sometimes games like this can be, um, oh god, difficult to... I know there's a button to slow down, but is there a button to go faster? I kind of just want to, like, full-on sprint as fast as I possibly can. Gross, gross textures. Like, in a good way, though. Alright, so we cannot jump up there, I don't believe. Can we jump down there, though? Though, I will say, the one problem is, when you tell me... Ooh, there's a button I can hit that makes the game easier. I will almost definitely hit it as often as I possibly can because I'm an impatient person and I don't like, oh no, you will slide. Oh, well, I'm falling, so. <laughs> okay, but we can hit R to reset. Where are we now? It is pretty easy to get turned around though, so I get it. This is, oh no. 
I don't quite understand the numbers here. Is that just like... Ooh. Okay. Let's... All right. Hold on. So now we jump over to this. Ooh. Nice. Okay. That feels pretty good. You know, I may have judged this game a little too harshly with that very long intro. Um, which again, I don't, I don't mind a game trying to tell its story. I just like, yo, I, I want that quick hit. <gasps> oh no! You know, I'm here to play demos. I'm here to have like as many cool and interesting experiences as I can. Oh, broke my robot legs. And this is neat, though. I, I don't, I don't. I mean, it is haunting. It is spooky. The aesthetic here is good, but I am not necessarily. I don't feel haunted. Oh, can we? There we go. This is very satisfying. This is like the floor is lava. That bad. Not even, I don't even want to say it's bad. I enjoyed it on Netflix. And also the childhood game you played. Um, I also, it looks like there's like branching paths. I Can we set our own checkpoint? Is that something I missed? Because that would be cool. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go. On the pipe. What is that over there? How do I, I want to get to that. Is that where we're supposed to go? Yeah, it is. I don't think I can make this jump. So maybe we start a little, hi! Oh. Oh man. All right, maybe we don't go that way. I think we gotta go this way. Yeah, this is neat. This is like, got a mirror's edge kind of vibe to it, minus the like ridiculous, like I like that this game is just, you are jumping. It feels like, um, like Half-Life jumping puzzles. Or like if people, like would people make their own maps in um, Counter-Strike. It's actually what it reminds me of a lot. Which is cool. Oh god. Oh. And you know, like you add like double jumps or you start to make things like that could fall apart as you jump on the, ah, man. Oh yeah, sorry. Also the idea of like, hey, <laughs> when you fall, it's gonna take a long time to hit the bottom, so you might as well hit the R button. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Is it really a failed simulation if I learned something? I would, I would call that a successful simulation uh, because you're g gathering research on what not to do. You know what I mean? But I also like the idea that like, oh no, you're not dying. You're just thinking really hard about what you might do and, then, and like, oh yes, let me run the simulation of this jump. And then you fail that jump, and then you're like, all right, well that simulation failed. Uh, but you didn't die. Ooh, whoa. Press E to pick up the climbing picks. Can we just... You, yo. Yo! Okay, and there's stamina. Oop, I reset. I didn't mean to do that. I got a little too excited. All right, so there is a stamina bar. Oh, beautiful. So not only is, it, is this game doing platforming well, it's doing climbing well. Uh, oh, this rules. Okay, I don't know what these dots are for. I know it said what they're for, but I wasn't really paying attention. Notice your stamina bar. Yeah, I noticed. Once it depletes your energy, it will run out. You can press space bar while looking down to let go. Okay. This is, this is extremely cool. I don't know how much more of this I'm gonna play because we have a lot of games to get through. Ooh, but when you let go, okay, when you let go though, you, you drop straight down and you lose. Not everything is climbable. That's just true. Oh, that's what that's for, to let me know it's climbable or not. Okay. Yeah, this is this is really neat. I feel like I truly, I was like, like this is the first game I played while I started recording. I'm like, oh, I started with, I don't want to say a dud because it's not. Even if, it, even if it was more of what I was expecting, you can shimmy around the structure and get to the other side. Love to shimmy. Um, but that's the, that's the cool thing about playing a bunch of demos is you, you get to try things you otherwise might not even think about doing. Um, demos are, are great. Oh boy. And more people should release them. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I, I like this. I already forgot what it was called, if I'm being honest. Lorne's Lure is what it's called. Honestly, I thought this was going to be a fishing game. Maybe <laughs> Lorne's Lure may be a reference to something else that I just, I'm not smart enough to know. Let's see, but now, 
Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. That's unacceptable. I guess I didn't have to jump like that, did I? Uh, there may be fishing in later in this demo. Oh my god, I keep I will say I do keep hitting R instead of E because E is the grapple button. Or not grapple, but a hook button. And R is the reset button. And I keep resetting while I'm in the middle of the jump. Uh, that may be something you want to change because that is a mistake I will make a lot and I'm sure other people will as well. Uh, okay. I want to make this jump now. But I, I'm assuming you can't just hook. Like, if you're falling from high on high, you're probably just screwed, right? No matter what you do. Oh no. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's shut this down. Um, Lauren's lure, pretty cool. I am definitely curious about it, and would love to see what they do next. So when you close the game, it I don't know, it. I don't want to say automatically reopens the um, like the container for everything, and now we're back in the uh, demo zone. Um, I will say there is a way to because I'm already thinking like, oh god, now I got to walk all the way back, and then I got to go through that, and there's like loading screens. There is a way I think to just go through and cycle through all the demos without like there's ele there's like three floors of games. Um, this looks cool. Walk. Demo for upcoming horror game from Japan. Japan. All right, let's, let's check it out. Is This is Walk. I don't know how that is, the Japanese is said or pronounced, but wow. This, whoa. This, uh, the, this like weird, it's clearly just a, an image like on, on walls, but it is definitely wigging my brain out a bit. Ooh, a vending machine. Oh, that's the, that's how we start the game. Okay, again, great idea, game game developers. I love. Oh god, the game is so tiny. Ooh. Ooh. Can I make it bigger? Cause I cannot see. I'm standing pretty far away from my monitor. Kazumi Game Studio. It's pretty cool. Can I really not make the screen bigger? No. All right. We're stuck like this, folks. I mean, I'm gonna make it larger, but I, I am really Resident Evil. <laughs> that sounded just like the Resident Evil uh, stinger. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna really have to like. Oh, it's such a bummer because this this has such a great look to it. I can't I can't wait to edit this video so I can like zoom in. Wow. No, this is sick. This this is this is what I'm looking for. Whoa. God. I'm so glad there are talented game developers who are nostalgic for PS1 because Oh wait, there's something over there, I think. Wait, what was that? What's happening? What? Oh, there's like a glitch coming. Oh no. I'm going back the way I came. I think. Whoa. What the fuck? That's so loud. Oh my god. I, I don't, wait, can I make, hold on, now, now I'm like, can I make it larger with just, like, the mouse? No. You know, sometimes you can, like, pinch it and swipe it across. Of course. Yeah. Sure. All right, there's two buttons. There's run and there's action. Action button. Tim, Ro oh. What? This music rips. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. Yeah, this is 
Ah, oh, nice. Thank you. This is so unique. And I can't tell, it feels like the limited camera is supposed to be, is it like an intentional, like I know that that is an aesthetic choice and that is a thing that PS1 games did, but this feels like very aggressive, um, especially because I cannot see what I'm doing. And I feel like I have to guess where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. This is sick though. And I would like it if that very loud sound didn't happen again. Um, okay, so there's either nothing here, or I'm not seeing what I need to see. Oh, I'm taking cover. Okay, that's cool. Oh no! Where'd I go? Oh, there I am. Run! Run away! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh! Ooh. I got, ch I got the chills from that. Oh man. Dead. I'm dead. I, I, want, I want to play more of that, but because the window's so small and because I, I'm just struggling with it, I, I feel like I got what I wanted out of that. Um, unfortunately, with a lot of these games, I am truly only interested in aesthetic, which to be fair, Lauren's lure, I was not as brought, I was not as lured in on the aesthetic, but I really loved the gameplay. Um, Walk seems cool though. I would love to know more about it. Let's check out the chameleon. A tense exploration game with stealth superpowers set in the 70s. Body horror. I love body horror. A lot. And that's fine. I'm 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 having a fun time with this. Ooh. Hello. I'm Dr. F, Chief of Moon Knight Research. Welcome to the orientation film for the I love, there needs to be more live action video in video games. Like, I, I need that. Antonio, let's, let's see it. Whoa, this is not what I expected. Oh, are we, oh, nice, controller's working again. Awesome. Oh, this has such a good look. And we are Tom Selleck, apparently. Oh, whoa, max energy. Oh, hello. You good? I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, I, uh, crouch. Oh, we're not getting our button prompts. Alright. So we have a stealth game. Also, we, I mean, me and this man do not match, uh, but I have been known to rock a mustache and wear a, a Hawaiian shirt, so... Blue jeans, not so much. I'm more of a more of a black jeans kind of guy. Sometimes I'll mess with like a green pant. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Depletes energy. Not good. These lens flares are, are nice. Hey, what is? I wanted to see the other graphic mode. Nah, no, I don't. I don't. That's... Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> the uh, the animation that happens when you grab energy is a lot. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this good? Is this good? It is good. Press space to transform. Um, oh, cool. Oh, but it uses my energy. Oh God, okay, I'm sorry, but you're still very angry. Was this a map? I can punch, okay. So, generator room, you are here. Warehouse terminal. I don't know where I'm going, and that's fine. That guy is so loud. Okay, where did he go? I don't want to attract the enemies. Oh, there's a little rat. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I cannot see. I cannot see. Please, God, help me. I cannot see. Okay. I mean, I don't really need a disguise. Oh, yeah, I do. No, it's fine. I'm with you. Okay, he did not. He was not fooled. He was not. <laughs> he was not fooled. That's fair. So what are these controls? We got run, we got that, we got transform, we got punch, we got crouch. How did I punch? Okay. Okay, punching does use energy, which is not surprising. But. Um, why would I want to do that? When I can just turn into the enemy. Morning, George. Catch that game? Okay, that does not last long, but it clearly doesn't matter because... They have no peripheral vision. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over here. It's actually like kind of interesting that that lasts, that it does not last very long. Like the idea that you can't just use it and walk around forever. Of course they open somewhere else. What? What was that? Why did that just happen? keep whistling and I don't mean to. Oh, no, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. Whoa. He's jumping on my body. Is this, what is this? No. Who the hell has been pouring concrete blocking whole areas of the base? Hope you can't see me from here. Okay. Ah, nailed it. Didn't even see me. Ooh. Oh, nuts. Whoa! I didn't even see him! I, how did I even do that? I just instinctively punched and knocked him the heck out. I keep... What is the interact button? Do the nature of our top. Due to the nature of our top secret experiments and the unstable status of the Lunites, all measures have been put in place to prevent a possible... Incident. In the case that one of our test subjects escapes, the whole station will go into evacuation mode and security guards will be deployed. Ooh, what's During over here? See, every person must what's the purple? The before the last transport leaves. It is imperative what's this that purple? The subject does not escape the station. Oh, good. More energy. I can't read that. <laughs> Meet Arthur and Cole, two tennis prodigies. Playing singles together. I love you. Love that. Teamwork makes the dream work. Guards have been acting strange around Doctor F. That guy has always been weird with his stupid shirts, but the guards are unstable around him. Where you at, bud? I'll clock you again. It takes so long for your energy to restore that when I accidentally do a punch, all right. I think, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be done with this one. It, it seems good. I'm having weird issues with the controls. I could always, you know, stop being an idiot. But we got a lot of games to play. I like the aesthetic of it a lot. I like this. The, I like all the full motion video stuff. Agony of a dying MMO. Twelve hours a once. Whoa. Whoa. That is a lot of content warning. Is it bad that, like, seeing all those content warnings makes me, like, more interested in the game? Whoa. Whoa. Shout out to this, shout out to this version of Unity Launcher that let me just do what I needed to do. Ooh, that's fun. Nirvana Machine. Uh, of course. I mean, I should have known that a game based on an MMO was going to be keyboard and mouse only. Content warning. Streamer safe mode. NSFW mode. Okay. Um, okay. 15 minutes to play. Space to skip the intro. I don't want to skip the intro. Appreciate them saying how long it takes. Like, that is very considerate. I mean, so is the content. Ashamed of the person I was.
was. But that person would be ashamed of who I am today. I can't be a man anymore. It's too much. Do you think I'm a bad person? All these years spent playing a game I was never even good at. My friends haven't logged on in years. Are they ever coming back? Sometimes when I try to log off, it's like there's a voice inside my head telling me to keep playing. This is, this is already extremely compelling. Like, this sort of narrative is not one, oh, nice. This is a sort of narrative that does not get told in a serious way. No. Oh, I hit spacebar. Oh, I skipped the intro. Gosh darn it. <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I thought maybe the game was happening because I don't know what the game looks like. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's really happening. I don't believe it. This is tragic. Man. Whoa. All these years playing a game, I was never even good at. In 12 hours, the server will shut down. I'll never be able to play this game again. It was oh. my life, my obsession. This game ruined my life. My God. I I love the visual aesthetic. Do you uh, have any MP5 ammo? Yes, I have extra. You're extra. <laughs> I took off work to experience the last 12 hours. <laughs> no, don't take don't take time off work. I mean, whatever. Do 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 your thing. This is Oh wait, what just happened? This is true what they say. Once you reach level 99, weird things start happening. Things you can't explain. I have to find out. I, I was gonna say, like, oh, they're not even trying to do something of horror, like, like, just scary. They're trying to just show off, like, the horrors of, like, addiction to MMOs and stuff like that, and like kind of the sadness of when like someone like something is ending um but it also sounds like this game might be doing some uh genuine like weird stuff as well which is fine let's see if this is someone i can interact with and then we'll i'm gonna go kill myself oh i wish i never played this game oh no don't oh god okay yeah let's um Let's switch to something else. <laughs> um, I, I do think this is extremely interesting, and I appreciate it. It's trying to tell... I don't want to say an untold story, but, like, a rarely told story. I mean, sure, you, like, read articles, uh, like, on Vice or whatever about people who have, like, addictions to MMOs or video games or... You know, you get, like, darker looks into this stuff all the time. But, like, someone actively trying to tell a story about that stuff is is definitely an interesting idea. Again, there are three floors of games. Like, there is so much we can play. There is so much we can check out. Let's check out Fiend's Isle. There's something about it that's... Fiend's Isle is an action 
RPG roguelike inspired by first person games of the mid 90s. Explore procedurally generated dungeon, collect loot, and fight skeletons. I love to fight skeletons. Let's go fight skeletons. Um, cool, here we go. This looks like um, Morrowind, I guess, or just, I mean, a very early uh, elders. Whoa, nasty snake meat man. Oh God, okay, that's unacceptable behavior. You're going down, buddy. Am I gonna die? I don't. Oh, and also, this is a rogue. It's a roguelike? Okay, well. So we die. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. What is this slime? Nasty slime. This green jello looking scumbag. Okay. We killed it. No real fan. Wait, did we kill it? Or is it? I think it's just asleep. Okay. Got another one. Yeah, they are definitely nailing this sort of uh, early 90s first person game. Um, which, it's one of those things where I am like, they did it, but should they have done it? You know? Like,. Do we, do we really want to play games? I mean, I think if, if if the goal is to like, oh, is it possible to, oh God, it's a skeleton. The game said that they would be here. Can I block? Oh God. Ah. I, I do, like if, if the goal was like, oh hey, how hard is it to make a game? Can I pick this sword up? Can I have this? <gasps> yes, I can. Let's go. Short sword. It's better than the dagger we had. This music is really nice too. I also just like, I think from like a nostalgia standpoint and a like, like I think it's incredibly impressive that someone managed to make a game like this in 2021. I mean, I don't know when they made it. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I barely like playing like Skyrim because of how slow it is. Um, this is just not necessarily my sort of game. Green herb. But I do think it's impressive. But I understand why they don't. That's my treasure chest now, bud. Okay. Let's just, just give me something good. Make me feel okay. Ooh, compass. And I will say, I think the fact that this is, whoa. Sorry, the compass is like very dope. <laughs> uh, green herbs, yeah, might as well. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how much use I'm really gonna get out of it, but it is cool. Yeah, this is, this is sick. This is this is a very excellent recreation of this style of game. It's also doing, I think it is doing that thing. Oh, throw a coin down the well? I don't know, nothing to offer. <gasps> Ooh, we got a mace for that? Hell yeah, dude. I, I like, it's one of those things where I'm like, oh yeah, this is like those early 90s games. But then if you were to go back and play like uh, Kingsfield or early, or like Elder Scrolls 2 or whatever. Um, I am sure it would not feel this good or this modernized. Or this modern, I should say. This is a trap. Anyone with a brain can see that this is a trap. And I have a brain, so. We're just gonna sprint across. Okay. Maybe it wasn't a trap. Or maybe we just ran so fast where we were fine. Okay, well that did nothing. <laughs> oh man, I was really excited for this weapon. Oh wow, one hit kill though. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. The only problem is, we'll just be standing so close. Yeah, this, this music is very serene. 
Oh, beautiful. See? You can't get hit if you kill him in one hit. You know what I mean? Like, game over. For that. Not for you. Yeah, I really, I really like this music a lot. Ooh. All right. Freaking crossbow. Oh, wow. I just, I just did something very stupid. Um, oh, does it have ammo? It says one. So does that mean we have one one crossbow or one shot? Can we load a sword into our crossbow and shoot with it? Yes! Oh, oh, that's a big key. Oh, oh no, it's my nemesis. Oh God. Ha! Okay, that didn't do nearly as much damage. Okay, we we need to go back inside. Man. We have okay. We should just we should just run, right? Go. Oh, we're out of energy. Come on! I at least want to unlock that door. Oh, there's nothing over here. Oh no. Can I hit him from here? What's the range on this crossbow? Ah oh, man. <laughs> Oh, you know, uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. Anymore. Oh, did I hit him? Oh, I did. Let's go. Coward. Let's, I'm a coward and I do not care. Did I kill it? Okay, well, the other one, I don't know where the other one went. Uh, but it's time we finish this. Oh, yeah, that was way easier. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Excellent, excellent. Oh, no! <gasps> it's the guy! No! It's the... Oh, okay. He's just, he's just as weak as the other skeletons. That's the mascot for the whole dang thing. But he goes down just like all the others. Ooh, that's a good door opening sound. Did we do it? We did it! We beat a game! Alright, you know what? I, I That's pretty good. I like that. And obviously we could do it again. Fiend's Isle. I'm into it. I, you know, at first I was kind of like, oh, yeah, this is a fun gimmick. But I actually think that was really, really uh, satisfying. It's a cool idea. Let's check out Loveland. All right, let's check out this first. Take on the role of the detective as you delve into a world of murder, kidnapping, and other atrocities, all at the behest of frogs. Wait, is this frog detective? Ooh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this game looks like the one thing. Ooh, gross. Oh no! Not Frogger. They finally got Frogger. They said, you're gonna really try to make your own version of Wipeout? Cool. All right, All right. I mean, already. I love, I love a good dither, you know? Okay, so that's how you interact. Good doors, good door sounds. Missing persons in cultist activity. This should be interesting. Should be. Also, love a good love a good flashlight. Wait, what? Oh no! Oh god! I don't want to step on any frogs. The door is wide open. Oh good. A static TV. Always a good sign in anything horror related. I'm gonna just close this door. No, I'm not, apparently. Jimmy found this big ass frog hopping around the lake. Ain't nothing like no frog I've ever seen before. The moment Jimmy touched it, he started acting real damn weird, like he was drunk. I told him, put it down. Oh god. Soon after, every damn person in the park was falling head over heels for the damn thing. Feeding them, breeding them, shit. I even saw them putting them in moonshine and drinking it. Called it frog shine. I ain't touching that shit. Uh. That's not good. <laughs> a recipe for frog repellent. One part vinegar, one part lemon juice, bring to a boil. Fill a spray bottle and apply liberally to frog. Now we're making making a stew. All right. Oh God. Oh no. What was that? Oh, uh, that genuinely, oh God. Why do I scare so easy? Was this door open? Oh God. I'm such a baby. 
Hello? They're fucking worshipping the damn frog at this point. They keep referring to him or master as if there's some damn god frog. Oh no. The god frog. I've only heard legends. Oh no. Oh yeah, are they asleep? I can't tell. Are those eggs? Oh no. I thought they just like had something on their back. Oh no. No. Fuck. Shit. Oh god. Oh no. What is all that? What is all that sound? Okay. Well. This is, uh. <laughs> I would, honestly, I would love to. I would love to leave. For him, I pledge my body. For him, I pledge my soul. For him, I want inside of me. It would be the perfect vessel. Oh god. Is that just a picture of a frog? <laughs> uh oh. That's, there's some writing on the wall. Oh god. Oh no. Why do you have all these spiders, bud? <laughs> It's a bunch of random videos of frogs on repeat. Can we go over here? They came from the water with their gift to bring unto us eternal bliss. Just as a drink, they say. Embrace warmth, fade away. Let him in, they whisper. You'll be one. You'll carry his kin. Uh, not me, bud. Not me. I know, right? Honestly, at this point, I do feel like... Oh, they just turned off all the lights. Uh, tough shit, dude. Hmm. Oh, crowbar. Nice. Is this it? Yeah, alright, here we go. Let's see what's back here. Last one. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? He seems to be in some kind of trance. I'll send for a medical unit. Best. Obey. Him. Yeah, maybe I should stop watching it. Hey, bud, you okay? Let me give you a little spritz. Okay, bud. I'm being held captive. I woke up in this strange room with both arms chained to a bed. Last I remember, I was at the bar after work having a few drinks, but then my memory sets. gets real hazy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Croak, 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 croak. What does it mean? Okay. Let's go. Aw, oh, man. Really? Man. They got me. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was definitely goofy and weird and had a good aesthetic, so. Ah, man, I just wanted to see the, I just wanted to see the big, mean, evil frog, or I don't even really know where that was going. But I was ready to see the conclusion. That's okay. That was real. That was cool. I. That was the first one that I, or one of the only ones I played all the way through. So, I guess I got to give it credit for that. Um, I appreciate these ones that know, like they kind of do the right amount. You know. Let's see what this one's about. Step into your chamber. Let her do the rest. I don't know what that means, but I guess we could check this out. Echo Stasis. It's a good name. I like I like the early computer style graphics that some of these games have. Beta software. Okay. You may be in contact with her. I truly don't know if I broke it or if this is. Uh oh. <laughs> That's. Too <laughs> Too immersive, man. Uh, welcome to the tutorial. 
-hmm. where you will learn the basics. Wazd to move. That's the param. Ooh, this is this is good. This is very good. This this rules. I love this. This is great. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. This is it. This is this is what I'm looking for. Golly. Just the way like things draw in, like I, I, ooh, that's good too. Wow. How do I interact with this door? Do I not interact with the door? Okay, okay well, <laughs> I guess I can go this way instead. All right. We continue. Mm, this is. Yeah, the, the the way you can really make something terrifying by only allowing a little bit of it to load at a time because you truly don't quite know what you're looking at, and that is horrifying. You know, when you play a game like Resident Evil, like a newer Resident Evil, you know when there's a zombie right ahead of you because you can see it very clearly. In a game like this, you're like, oh, I, th I truly don't know what I'm looking at right now, y'all. Also, I keep coming across, like, dead ends. And it's like, I don't know if it's me or if it's the game. But I, I do like this, the look of this a lot. And I don't necessarily want to give up on it quite yet. Like this, this like fog, like this volumetric fog, this volumetric lighting, like looks so nice. Even though like all the, oh wait, oh there's stairs. Okay, but also I guess the graphics being like this does make it hard to like know where you're supposed to go. And also, whoa, whoa. Okay, puddles. Nasty blood puddles is what I believe I just saw. Uh, chapel door again. <laughs> Also, lo love a game that's, like, just walking around, you know? What, what is this? What are we doing here? Is that interactable? Right latch removed. Oh, there's latches. Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. Remove those latches, bud. Let's go. All right. Mission accomplished. We've done it, folks. We've opened the door to the chapel. Never thought, wow. You see like, this, this looks, this looks incredible. Wow. <laughs> Hyper-reality engine status automatic, current admin. <laughs> Who's this? Another lost soul? Arriving here, expecting utopia? This reality is not your own. Ooh. All right, you don't gotta tell me twice. Wow. Yeah, this is quite the sacrophages. What is that? Who is that? Man. Alright, well, I'm going up here. Um. What? Did they just. Did they really just give me a gun? That is. Uh. <laughs> truly unexpected. Um. Where'd it go? Where'd the gun go? Why did uh, um Why did they give me a gun? <laughs> Echostasis can begin now. I did not expect this did not seem like the kind of game where they give you a gun. Uh oh my god. Uh -huh. 
up. All right. Just whoop. Are these the frogs that everybody's been talking about? Yeah, dude, let's do it. Take me away. Yes! Okay. Weird. Weird game. Alright. Okay. Echostasis. So that's just the prologue. Um, that's cool. Alright, that was a weird one. <laughs> I feel like I could say that for literally all of these, but that specifically was a uh, very strange. Um, and I liked it, you know? Chasing Static. Which one was this? First person psychological horror is a short story. Uncover the forgotten remains of government cover up. A mysterious phenomenon still stands. Yeah, let's check out this one. Sure, why not? Again, love love the full motion video. Uh, I think all games should have it. Ooh. It's a good looking car. I think the funny thing about playing a lot of these games is, like, I truly have no idea. Oh, it's game developed in the UK? We're on the wrong side of the wrong side of the road. Um, this is, like, stressing me out. Can I? Ooh. Uh, no, dude, turn your headlights on. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm into that. Yeah, let me just keep drinking that coffee. Just drink it all. Oh, it's empty now. I guess I appreciate the, the detail. You know, sometimes you just gotta drive with the lights off to feel alive. You know? I, I do. Whoa. Definitely noticing a lot of these games <laughs> seem inspired by Silent Hill, which is a little sad that, like, all these people out here making like pretty decent independent versions of Silent Hill and like Konami has no interest in even trying to do anything with those games not even like release the originals in a playable way I mean I'm sure look I'm sure that'll that'll come eventually but who knows when Christ alive mm, voice acting you almost gave me a heart attack All right, so that's cool. Full voice acting. Gonna go make. So I never called your coffee. name. Oh, it's Chris. Chris, right? Nice and simple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was my dad's name. Grandfather too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Ooh. I'm a neighbor. I used to know someone called. It means winter, right? Close. Winter is gear. An era translates to snow. Oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Again, that's the second time this week. Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. Tab. Oh wow. See, this is why I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look. <laughs> Fuse box. I would them. actually very much mind. There we go. Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Yeah, great news. I fixed it. Everything's cool. Let's get out of here. No reason. Oh, God. Hello. Yeah, no, you don't got to tell me twice. Well, I will definitely not go into the woods. Um, 
I'll just go to my car. All right, just get in my car and go. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. I thought they were gonna... Whoa! I knew it was gonna happen. That's why you don't text and drive, people. Stay off your phone while you're behind the wheel. Yeah, it's true. Stay off your phone. All right, well, I guess we're going into the woods now, despite that very creepy voice telling us specifically not to. Ooh, mushrooms. Ooh, hello. What's this? Uh-oh. Some sort of secret underground... What the f fuck? What was that baby? Of course there is. Why was there a baby? Uh-oh. What's that? Hello? Oh, God. Oh, oh no. What happened to this guy? Alright. Valve handle. I like their use of the glowy mushrooms to like help guide the player. That's smart. Like you have this such a big environment, they're really using a lot of this lighting uh, in a good way. All right. These like cutscene-esque shots are in an interesting choice. I don't know how I feel about them, but it's cool. It's unique. Oh, that's it. Man. All right. Full game will feature professional voice acting, two hours of original music, and an engrossing story. Yeah, it seems cool. Again, like, they very much are doing uh, their own version of Silent Hill, and I, I think that's neat. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up for now. Um, but we are going to check out more stuff. I at least want to look at the third floor. Um, whoa. Whoa. Okay, there's less games up here. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little research on my own just to see, oh, peeb, <laughs> uh, what the rest of these games are. Probably only gonna do a couple more, but uh, thanks for watching. Can, can I guess I'll see you. I don't know. Should I do? Maybe I should just do a part two. Should I just do two parts to this one video? I guess there's no real reason for me to do one video showing off literally everything. I'm not indie mouse. I don't need to make one video for every single game. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching part one. Uh, part two will be coming up soon. So uh, it's the Haunted PS1 demo disc. It is free, it is on itch. You can check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite demo was or what you think of this current trend of PS1 style games. I think it's fun and interesting and this is a really great package showing it all off. So. Uh, can we go to the menu, or will this just close out? Okay, it just closed out. That's fine. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time.